Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing the Gemini Zodiac makeup look. Today's look is going to be inspired by Dane. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. She is a super talented makeup artist and she did a look for fake up that was like two uh, people on one face, like the profiles of two people. So I'm going to be attempting something like that for Gemini because as you all know, Gemini is all about having a light and a dark, kind of two sides to every person, to every story. It's not going to be quite as avant-garde as my previous looks for this series, but I really just wanted to highlight the two different sides and this was like a cool illusion makeup that I wanted to try for a while. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's create the outline of the silhouette. This is definitely the part that took me the longest out of the whole video. The nice thing about using a water activated face paint is that you can always just go back with water and a cotton swab and to clean up after yourself. I find that it is easier to do this with a more runny face paint. This is the Mehran one, which is, as you know, my absolute favorite. The palette lasts a long time and I'm just taking a thicker brush and I am filling in the gap in between, leaving my lips because I'm going to do that last. Okay, so as that is drying, I'm just taking a black eyeshadow and I'm trying to like cover up my part. I was gonna go in with um, the paint, but I I don't love washing this face paint out of my hair uh, from when I've done stuff like this before. So hopefully eyeshadow is a little bit better. Then the rest of this look is basically simple makeup. I say simple, but I'm gonna try to go for like really wild graphic liner looks. We'll see how it goes. Graphic liner looks definitely scare me, but let me just start with my base, okay? I started with foundation, adding a little bit of contour, and then with blush, I decided to start kind of going different on the two sides of my face. So on one side, I want to do like a pastel look, kind of very innocent and sweet and fun. The other side, I want to do a black graphic liner look where it is more dark and edgy. So I took a pink on one side and a dark pink on the other, and it was way too pigmented, and I kind of panicked. I'm gonna brush through my brows real quick with this Ulta brow pencil, and then I'm gonna get started on my graphic liner look. I am kind of just freehanding this. I did kind of draw uh, this liner look on myself on a picture, like on my iPad, just to see how it would look, but then it came to executing it, and it was definitely harder than drawing on my iPad. I managed to get a version that I wanted and I was just like trying to balance the top and the bottom because I felt like the bottom was too heavy. Anyway, onto the other side, the more fun pastel side, I took the GLF, these are like their water activated liners and I am dotting some on my face and then tracing around it with blue and green and then adding just some purple sparkles. I think this is like a super fun look. I then put some colored contacts in. I put different colors in each eye just to kind of enhance this whole two look concept. And then I just put on some false lashes. I thought about doing two different lashes, but I just, it's fine. It would be too much. Anyway, I then went on to my lips. You wanna make sure that when you're coloring your lips that you are coloring them in, in like a curved shape because your lips you know, naturally stick out if you are in that side profile view. And I, again, took two different colors. In hindsight, I probably would have picked some lighter colors just so it would contrast better with the black, but I think it still turned out good. I used a black lipstick on my lips instead of going back to that water activated face paint because I just feel like I would lick it off and that would not be good. So that is it for my tutorial today. I absolutely love how this turned out. I can't believe it turned out as well as it did, honestly, especially with these two graphic liner looks. But the bright side was I did not have to make them symmetrical, so I was more daring and went with a little more intricate looks because symmetry is not my friend. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. My moon is in Gemini, so, you know, I have a little bit of this in me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!